And now a five minute update on the peaceful evolution happening around the globe. I'm Agent Derek J. You're listening to Free Agents Radio News. Today is Sunday, March 18th, 2012. Top story today, George Clooney arrested for free speech. But first, a message that's important for all of us. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom. Become a free agent and take it back. Google FR33 to get connected with other men and women around the globe who are united against state aggression and who are committed to not violent revolution, but peaceful evolution. It costs nothing to rally others to your causes by starting websites, creating and joining groups, and more. Stay up to date on the global movement for liberty by reading, watching, and listening to reports from our growing network of free agents. Free agents who work to achieve a free society can receive points for various activities which can be redeemed for gear, such as clothing, cameras, and more. When defending yourself against the state, be equipped with FR33 gear. You can directly invest in the projects you care about right now so that free agents can get the valuable support they need. States are going to fail, so get off the sidelines and join other free agents on the front lines of freedom today by visiting fr33agents.com. That's fr33agents.com. Now for the news. Actor George Clooney recently decided to test the limits of free speech in the District of Criminals this Friday when he knowingly remained on a piece of earth despite threats of kidnapping by agents of the state. Those agents were given orders to kidnap and cage anyone who crossed a line which exists only in their imagination. Clooney was totally peaceful and even aided in his own kidnapping because he wanted to bring attention to his cause, helping some oppressed people in Africa live free. In his act of civil disobedience, he brought attention to an arguably bigger issue, the caging of political activists who courageously speak truth to power and use as their soapbox public property for which they are forced to pay. Also arrested were four members of Congress, Clooney's father, Nick, and Martin Luther King III. With the recent passage of what's being called the Indefinite Detention Bill, which permits agents of the state to secretly cage, torture, and kill any person for any reason, it is likely that stars such as Clooney are among the privileged few who have little to risk when doing this type of activism. Were he to make his controversial statement in a speech, he would be putting his life and freedom at much greater risk. But fortunately, actions speak louder than words. I cheer Clooney's goal of peace and freedom for people in Africa, but I hope he will have the same courage to speak in support of complete freedom for all individuals. Ian Freeman reports from freekeen.com in the Shire. The court system in Cheshire County, New Hampshire, is so bad that one man, under nearly a decade of constant court battles over his children and divorce, decided he was going to end his life by self-immolating in front of the courthouse. Thomas James Ball set himself on fire with an accelerant back in June of 2011 in a very public manner. He wanted people to see and know why, and he sent a lengthy suicide letter to the local newspaper explaining himself. However, the people of the system want to keep it quiet. They don't want anyone to hear the canary in the mine that is Thomas Ball. They quickly painted over the burn marks on the sidewalk out front of the courthouse and denied requests to turn over security camera footage of the suicide. In the face of those denials, I requested they turn over all photos and reports in the police file. The city took me to court to have corrupt judge John P. Arnold decide. The decision is available for you to read in full in a post at freekeen.com titled Cheshire Court Denies Freedom of Information in Thomas Ball Case. In short, the judge decides that because some family members of Tom Ball don't want the docs or photos revealed, that they should remain a secret, despite the fact that Tom himself wanted people to see and know about his death. The real reason the court won't release the records is because Tom Ball's suicide is a threat to their legitimacy, and they'd rather people forget him. Also at freekeen.com last week, the latest episode of Free Keen TV, photos from Kelly's Don't Strip Our Rights in the Philly Airport, activists banned from all school property in Keene, and video of the civil disobedience panel at the Liberty Forum. For pictures, videos, and more on these stories, visit this episode's page at fr33agents.com slash farn 2012-03-18. This has been Free Agents Radio News. Subscribe to this podcast and check back tomorrow for more updates on the growing peaceful evolution happening around the globe. For FR33Agents.com, this is Agent Derek J reminding you that good people disobey bad laws.